What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Customs and I'm sure you're wondering where we've been and well Dad, where have we been? Well, you nearly died. No, I almost died. Uh, <laughs> go type in 50 cal explosion. You'll find it over on the channel Kentucky Ballistics. That's what's happened to me and it kind of put things on hold for a it while. It did, it did. But we are back and we have a new project. We do. We, we have do. a smart car. We have a smart car. It's kind of boring. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it's not going to be boring when we're done with it. No, no. So tell us a little bit about the plans, Dad. All right. So we're going to turn this into an ATV. That's that's the plan. I, what I want to do is I want to take these doors off of it. All right. The doors will come completely off both sides. We're going to cut this top here, here, and probably we're gonna take this back part off. It'll have just this little part here, and we're gonna cut this right here. Then we're gonna add us some uh, all-terrain vehicle tires to this. We're gonna put a two-inch lift kit on it. We're gonna camouflage it. We're gonna put some military decals on it, and it's gonna be able to be street legal and off-road too at the same time. Probably gonna straight pipe it too. So he's six one six foot six one i'm six one so you can see just how small this car is it's actually really nice though didn't you say this is a different this is the, uh what is that i, I believe they Brabus this, or a something Brabus. Uh, they made a few of these that had a little bit more horsepower than your normal smart cars so they, they normally got 100. like what do they normally have uh 70. and then this one has i believe this one has about a 110 120. oh cool yeah. So we got more horsepower in it too. We got more horsepower. So up front is the radiator. Radiator, and battery, the, and some of the other fluids, like windshield wiper fluids, stuff like that. And then back here is the motor. Yes. Which is interesting. So once you do that, you raise this, let this down, pull this mat right here up. And then your motor's under there. <laughs> you do like that, and there it is, a three-cylinder motor. You know, I feel like the interior of this car would be like super hot if your motor's sort of getting hot, you know? You would think Because the that. motor's in it? Yeah, you would think that, but I, I don't know. It don't, it don't really get hot in there. It has heated seats. <laughs> so this thing is actually really roomy. It is. Like, when you get in here, you really don't even feel like you're in a tiny car. No, no, no. It's actually a really nice interior. And the top, this is plastic. Yeah, this is all plastic up here. Make you feel really safe driving this thing, you know, if you rolled it or something. All right, so, you got Stoney out here. What up, Stoney? That horse is like 30 years old. So, what's first on the list? What are you? What are we looking to do first? Well, um, if the lift kit don't come in, the first thing I'm going to do is cut this exhaust off and straight pipe it to give it just a little bit more sound. Uh, it's too quiet for me. I want it to sound a little meaner than it is, and probably sounds meaner than what it's going to be. But either way, I'm going to cut the pipe off of it, and we're going to see what that sounds like. And then we're going to go on with the two-inch lift kit. And then after that, it, uh, we may do some cutting on it. I'm actually about to be out of town for a few days. Uh, so had to film this really quick because I knew as soon as we got it, he was going to start cutting on it or something. So <laughs> I was like, we got to show the car first, Dad. So uh, I'm going to be gone for a few days, but he's going to go ahead and get started on it. And uh, kind of afraid to see what it looks like when I get back. I hope he doesn't do everything fun while I'm gone. But... It'll be awesome. I gotta try it out. Yeah, I've seen how you tried out a brand new four-wheeler. <laughs> Don't you tear up that little car. Where? That little car ain't done nothing to you. Where's the key go? Right in the middle. Oh, that's kinda cool. You're gonna wanna put your seatbelt on, son. There you go. You know what? <laughs> Practice what you preach, right? All right, let's see what this little thing will do. We could just get rid of that traction control. It'd be a lot of fun. We're gonna have to do something about that. 
What's up everybody? My name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Customs and today, well Scott's not with me. He's gone. But today I'm going to be doing a little customizing on this smart car here. But the first thing I want to do is I want to make it a little louder because right now it's, a, it's quiet. But is that going to make it faster for me to cut the exhaust off of it? Probably not. But it's going to sound good and sound like it's faster and that's, that's about all I care about. So. <laughs> um, we're gonna get started today, and I'm gonna crawl up underneath this thing, and we're gonna see just what I need to cut without cutting something that I need, <laughs> okay? So every time you get a car like this and you start to work on it, everything's always new. You never know where to start or anything, so you gotta have to kinda, you know, get up underneath it and inspect it and try to figure out what you need to do. So that's what I'm gonna do today, and, uh, We'll see what it sounds like. Let's go start it up and see what it sounds like right now. And then we'll start it up after I'm done and we'll see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna cut the exhaust off of this. And then after I cut the exhaust off of it, we're going to hear what it sounds like then. And then we're going to start moving on to bigger and better things. I'm thinking about taking this lower part here off because I am going to raise the car two inches. And it is going to have bigger wheels and tires on it. And you will be going off-road and you want some clearance. So, yeah, I'm thinking about taking this part right here off. And uh, when it's all said and done, I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a one-of-a-kind. And let's see what it looks like. Now let's take a look underneath it and see what we're going to have to do. Okay. Well, this is all the exhaust right here. This whole big long thing right here. See the pipe coming out right there. And then if you look, right there, it's connected there to like a little rubber bushing. And then if you look on this side, it's the same way, a little rubber bushing. And then right here is the exhaust part we're just gonna cut off right there. Change out the uh, cutoff blade because I hit something. Don't know what, <laughs> but it destroyed it. Uh, they don't make screwdrivers like they used to. Broke that one right apart. The heck with the screwdriver. I'm going to use a crowbar now. I think the smart car is proven to be smarter than I am. And that's not saying a lot. Alright. We'll try to get this last little bit off the hacksaw. This angle grinder will cut all the way through it. Oh my gosh. 
Alright. It's finally off. Wow. This thing. <laughs> this thing weighs 35 pounds. Well, I wonder what it sounds like now. You have to admit that sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> Is it faster? Nah, probably not. But it sounds fast, but it's not fast. But it's gonna be cool when it's all said and done. All right, let's take a look up underneath this and show you what we got. All right, right there is the pipe we cut off. And now we've eliminated all this right here so what i want to do is i want to take this bottom piece off now this piece right here all right here we go this piece off now. So it'll give us some clearance. I want to take these pieces off, get them out of the way. They're ugly. more lifted you know more clearance there in the back hey it took about 10 hours but uh <laughs> we're back so what did you do to it while i was gone which well, i can see there's some yeah stuff missing okay well um i took the exhaust off of it and it sounds I think really good. Yeah. But I don't think it makes it go faster, but it sounds faster. <laughs> oh yeah. That's oh, a yeah, lot that sounds better. Way better. Way better. That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be putting a, we're gonna be putting the lift kit on this thing. Oh. It up two inches. And so I just took this piece off right here, and then that way. So all they got to do to get to the front struts is just take this piece right here off, and they can get to that strut there, and they can get to that strut right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that'll make it a lot easier for the lift kit. Yeah. Okay, cool. I can't wait. So really though, it's gonna be what? four inches up front because it'll it level it out yeah with and the then tires, two inches in the back with the tires and everything it's going to be lifted probably around five inches and in all with everything on on the car okay say, yeah so this muffler was back here yeah the muffler was back there it was placed long ways um like this underneath here and uh a huge muffler for such a little bitty car. I just couldn't get over it. Well, Dad, I like what you did with it. Good, good. I'm glad. Like, like how it sounds? Yeah, it sounds great. Hope you guys enjoyed part one of this series. Uh, tomorrow, taking it to get the lift kit put on it, and then we're going to start cutting. It's uh, kind of hard to make a smart car look cool, but we're going to take a whack at it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, my name is Scott. His name is Scott, and we'll see you next time.